Hey, this is Dan with School of Sheets. We build custom Smartsheet solutions, and today I'm gonna to answer a question from the Smartsheet community about being able to format dates in more specific ways. This is a question that goes back to 2019. This began with this user saying they've set up um, some automated emails and they have a particular date format selected, and so they're using DD and YY, and this is the way it's displayed in Smartsheet. However, when they have an automation sent out, it's showing up as month, month, day, day, year, year. I'm going to develop a solution. I've never done this before. I'm going to do it off the top of my head here. And we're going to figure out how we can get any date format we want to be displayed in an automated email, as well as on the sheet itself. What I've done so far is this is a actual date column. And I've just gone through and toggled between all of the various date formatting options that are built in. There are, looks like 11 options there. And I just went down the list. So just so you know how to do this, if you put in a date and you come in here and select whatever format, it'll change. You can also select an entire column and do this, but I wanted to just illustrate in one glance everything that is available and also to see what happens when you have an automation. So I've set up a very simple workflow here that whenever this send automation box is checked, I'm going to get a message that says, you know, the date is whatever's in the date field. It's going to include the date column in the message itself. And I'm gonna then clear the cell so I can retrigger it just so we know what's going on. So let's see what happens when I trigger this one. All right, so my automation has triggered and here is what it looks like. Here's the date, it's in this standard format here. It also comes in here. If we go back to Smartsheet in my little notification bell, here's what it looks like as well, pretty much the same thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to trigger the entire sheet just so we can see what's going to come through because we have all of these different formats. So of course the question then is, are we going to see these formats reproduced in our automation? So this just happened, 11 rows, and they all have the same format. They're not inheriting the format of the sheet. So what can we do here to get the format we like? And particularly, how can we get a format that is not even a part of the standard list? So to solve this, what we're going to do is actually make a text column and we're going to use a formula to output the date format that we want. So it's going to look like a date, but it's actually going to be text. Um, I'll probably just do a few examples because there's a lot of options here. So of course, you know, this one is built in, so we don't need to actually do it. I'm going to do this example down here first because it's a little bit shorter. If we use day, we're going to get 25. We're going to get the day of the month. Okay. And now, so maybe we can actually do it like this. If we do day, month, and if we do year, we could actually kind of build a few different backend columns and then combine them together as we like to get whatever format we want. So, when you use month, what happens is it's going to return a number, 1 to 12 corresponding to the month of the year. And now what we can do is use an if statement to convert this into a text value. So it's just going to be if month date at row equals 1. I'll do a shorthand. And we would continue this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We would just go down the line. Make this a column formula. Make this a column formula. Similar formula here as in with the day is equals year. And so, okay, so for something like this, I mean, granted, it's gonna have the abbreviated one, but you could just exchange your formula text. So all we need to do for this is equals day plus a space, 
And now we have 25 June. If we want to do this one, plus a space, plus day, June 25th. And we can also build in the weekday. So let's see here. So similar to, this is gonna be the exact same strategy as with months. So there's a weekday formula. If we reference a date, it'll pop out a number. So we can build a little formula here equals one. And we'll do this six more times, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have, you know, several different things we can work in. And if you want something specific, you know, you could do the entire day. You could do two years. All the options are on the table. So if we want to do something, let's see here. We could do something like this one and go equals week plus we have a comma here plus the month plus a space plus the day plus a comma plus this year and there we go tuesday 2024 i'm going to just move these up top because these are kind of the ones we're actually working with and I think, you know, you probably see where this is going at this point and hopefully could build some of your own solutions with this. Let's change our automation and see how it's going to output now. Let's go to this workflow. I'm going to, I'm actually, I'm going to duplicate this so we can compare side by side. And I'll put both date and date output in the body, or not in the body, rather, in kind of the pre-formatted display that gets sent. So let's go ahead and start with this first one. And this came in. And here we go. This is the more recent one. So we have here's the date, and it displays in the format that we have written here. We have this Tuesday, June 25th, 2024. And the standard option, of course, is that 625.24. And also here's how it looks in my email. The subject line adapts to the proper formatting. This is what it normally would be. This is our customized version. So everything is working just as we like. And that is basically how you can force any date format that you want. You don't necessarily need these backing columns. You could build it all into a formula, but this just seems a little easier for me. And then of course, you know, if you decided you wanted this particular format, if you converted this to a column formula, I'm gonna make a new column just to demonstrate this. And let's make sure we keep the right references. Here we go. Let's just get some more values in here. So we do see that everything is going to adapt and these formulas all work in. And then of course, you know, these guys would be, you probably wanna hide these, they kind of get in the way. But the one thing about this is you do need an actual date column and have those dates inputted to get the output that you like. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it was helpful and now you can get whatever date format you like. If you did enjoy the video, got some value out of it, you can uh, leave a thumbs up because that's great for YouTube. Consider subscribing for future Smartsheet tutorials. Any questions or comments about this video or anything Smartsheet related in general, uh, leave a comment below and maybe I'll make a video for you. Lastly, if you're looking for some help with your Smartsheet development, whether it's a new system, existing system, School of Sheets is a recognized partner consulting firm of Smartsheet. All we do is Smartsheet. It's our bread and butter. So you can reach out via the link below to schedule a 30 minute call with myself, talk about your project, see if it's a good fit to work together. And other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.